I've had at least three people ask me today what is the the void meme. It means nothing. Yeah, but you got to make them think it means something. So you, so I I've, I've just told them they have to ask Team Void. I can't I can't expose oh, yeah. their secrets. I mean they they can come to us. We, we, it means nothing. Just the void, dude. Nothingness. <laughs> sure, nothing is. Disappointment. Just all negative, negative words. Well, no, it's not negative. It's just neutral. Yeah, that's actually a better way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that was actually that was a really smart great prediction by Smokey. Yeah, he got on that fast. Because that's the interesting, interesting thing about like doubles and like most good doubles combos. A lot of doubles combos that don't inherently come out of grab, just air to air, like two aerials and in into another one. Yeah. Like, you can't really know where they're gonna go or when it's a true combo or you know what trajectory. You just kind of have to like, based on previous knowledge, percent yeah. what this move does and how hard my teammate is gonna actually hit them, whether it's a sweet spot or a sour spot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it's, it's oh, I should have up aired. That would have killed. It's a little bit of guesswork. In terms of like, he's I'm just gonna throw a hitbox out here, and I think it's gonna work. Yeah. You can always just throw your most lasting hitbox out. Yeah. And like that can work as well because you can get like the soft hit and then like have your teammate con confirm off of it. As long as you hit them, that's what really makes a good team combo. Hit them close enough so your teammate can uh, confirm off yeah. of it. Yeah. Wow. Right now, green team is uh kind kind of giving red team the work. Yeah, they didn't need no hand warmers. Personally, I feel like. This team is just very inhibited when it comes to like any kind of fast character like Box. What, um, Marth Peach? Marth Peach, yeah. They're just both very slow and they both have like not the greatest out of shield options in terms of like dealing with two people at the same time. Yeah, so Box can sort of like run wherever he wants. Yeah. There's no real. With Sheik. It's hard to threaten Box. The, the reason why I think Sheik is like a better team's character than like both of these characters. Well, Ma Pe Peach is uh, more so uh, dependent on what character she's with. I think is uh, her placement like yeah. on the tier list. I think Sheik just mends with, well with anyone because like her defensive options are just sh so strong. Her role is like one of the best roles in the game. Yeah. She has a great down smash, crouch cancel, um, nair out of shield, bring three. It's like she has a lot of. Uh, also, her shield. Her shield is ginormous. Ginormous. It's the best shield in the game, and like it covers her whole body. For forever, if you light shield with Sheik. You can pretty much guarantee yourself not to get hit and slide off to a platform, like, from anywhere on the stage, really. Yeah. So, green team takes it four? Four, three? Four, four, three stocks? Yeah. I don't remember exactly, but... Something around there. It was very convincing. Very convincing. They were, like, in the lead the whole time. You can tell when, like, a team is better than the other based on their positioning. Like... And team's positioning means everything because if your teammate's in trouble, if your positioning isn't good, or you if you have them. a roadblock in the way, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to save them. Yeah, it's hard to sort of get anything started as a team if the other team's positioned to where you're split off. Yeah, so the best team's positioning is like for uh, team A and team B. Team B is on both corners of the stage near the ledge, and team A is in the center facing both players. Yeah. So if anyone loses a neutral interaction on the ledge if their team B uh, member loses a neutral interaction on the ledge they're off stage and the other team B member can't really get through the the other team A member because of just how the positioning works and the stages like like this that neutral control like that center stage control uh, play style is like very strong on this yeah. kind of stage because it's so long horizontal yeah and it's Hard, it's difficult to get out of the corner on this stage. The platform's not really placed well for you to escape there. You really only have ground that options. Yeah, to you like have to escape. either like you have to fight through them. Basically. Pretty much, and that's very hard to do against two people. Yeah. Because if one, if uh, a one, a one's defense crumbles, a two cover covers yeah. the lag that. Uh, All the way over there, so fast. Ooh, wow. That was a nice, I feel like that was a reaction to the roll, but I don't know. Nice. That Marth should be dead. He could have lived, but it was very smart of Smokey to uh, cover that ledge. And you notice, like, 
the way uh, Archangel on his respawn where he positioned himself. He could have just straight up F smashed out of uh, respawn, but he got on the other side of uh, Brog. So even though the F smash didn't connect, he started sandwiching yeah, Brog. So like the potential to rack up damage was like very high. I feel like Peach died so quickly though after dying the last time. Yeah. She's definitely not. What do you think about this stage? How, for, how they picked this stage for red team because they, they counterpicked it obviously i think their their best stage is yoshi's yeah to be honest um peach's wall and martha's a very like intrusive like yeah. aggressive wall with very high damage damaging uh mm -hmm. very high knockback moves if he lands tip or f smash or like yeah. you know any any kind of move like that i just think peach is gonna die, die so early here and she has been this stage is, uh, I would say, better for Peach if she's paired with a fox. Oh, wobble! Whoa. All right, that I see you, green team. That was like a pseudo wobble. It wasn't exactly true, but like it did, it it got like at least like sixty percent on it, yeah. which was very worth. It led to that up smash. So, Archangel tried spacing for the um, the wave shine up smash, but Smokey actually overshoot it. The up smash. Usually he just has to wave shine and up smash. He doesn't have to dash, but he dashed to anticipate Archangel's uh, counter yeah. counter attack, and it paid off. He got two kills instead of one. Forward air, smokes off the side. Brog needs to find a way to help him out, but the the real uh, golden thing about teaming with Fox is usually when he's off stage, you don't really have to help him unless the person edge guarding him is another Fox. Yeah, because he doesn't like, die instantly from any other character, really. Yeah. And there's like so many options that like he can prolong it long yeah. enough where like if you're busy with killing someone, you can actually finish that and then go save him. Yeah, because like he has the angles, he has uh, you know the ability to tech the shortens. Yeah, he can shine stall waiting for you to come back. Definitely, how strong he is on the ledge helps him. As long as he's off stage and on the ledge helps him in doubles. Whereas other characters, a lot of characters, lot they they're, they're better in the center. But Fox is good in every situation yeah. because on the ledge he can use invincible options to either gain center or like push pressure away from.